Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulullah. I'm sure that we have all heard the expression think before you speak. And there is a hadith that goes very well with that advice the Prophet sallallahu said, whoever believes in Allah in the last day, let him speak well or remain silent. And so the Prophet made it a condition really and a sign of faith. Uh, Imam Shafi'i also has something similar. He said, when you intend to speak, think before you do so. If there is a benefit, then go ahead and speak. But if not, then simply don't speak until you see the benefit or until the benefit is clear. We know that you know speaking spontaneously can sometimes cause many problems. So here is a good rule. Before you speak, ask yourself, can the other person hear what I'm about to say without becoming upset? If the answer is no or maybe, then I think you should just put this thought aside for a moment, maybe write it down on a sheet of paper. Later on, you know, the, the other person may be more receptive to what you want to say. And also in the meantime, you will be able to think about alternative ways of getting your message across. You know, in business, they say, you know, a poorly phrased statement could cost someone his job. It's very true. What is also true is a lot of us fail to realize that the same principle applies to family relationships. You know, why do we ignore the strategy of thinking before you speak at home? Why? Why do we ignore that strategy when we talk to our spouses, when we talk with our, with our kids? You know? Uh, there are so many reasons, maybe because we, you know, we are tired after a long day at work, frustrated, maybe grow up in an environment with, you know, poor communication, whatever the reason is. If you reach to that point, when you, if you got frustrated at home, you know, with your spouse or your children, and it led to, you know, saying things that, that you should have not said, there are so many ways to remedy that. The first, of course, make sure that to apologize. But another effective way to remedy the situation is to actually to reach out to the other person and ask them how they were affected. You know, just showing that, that, that you, you care can be enough to bring back that mutual trust and respect. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring blessings and mercy to your homes. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you connected. Zakum wa khair. Subhanahu wa rabbika rabbil izzati al-nasfoon. Wa salamu ala al-mursaliyya. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum.